Right, the second, the second amendment uh, is being proposed by Jim McConnell. Jim actually has uh, proposed the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth amendment. Um, you technically have five minutes to address each, but if to the extent you could look at that, it would be, I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. It's the same concept. First off, that last one was a summary of the other four. I wasn't sure how you wanted to put it on the uh, calendar, so that's the way I'll do it. This, uh, sure recall this morning when the governor spoke, one of the first things he discussed was the difference between Republicans and Democrats and how clear it should be that we have differences. This comes back to the uh, two wings of the same bird of prey that many people describe both of the parties. Um, when Juliana Bergeron spoke, she indicated that the most important part of being on the National Committee was ensuring that the, national, the most important job of being a National Committee person and the committee was to ensure adherence to the national platform. We shouldn't do any less here in New Hampshire. Now, last year I was criticized for suggesting these amendments. Uh, I merely indicated two and four because I didn't have any provision for removal. Well, I've added provision for removal. Where do I get that provision for removal? That provision for removal came from Article 1, Section 6 of the current bylaws, and that's because we have a provision which ensures that someone who publicly endorses a candidate running against a designated Republican candidate shall be removed from the state committee. We shouldn't do any less for those who fail to support our platform. It's worth remembering that our officers and our National Committee, my National Committee woman, although this first bylaw change reflects only officers, uh, are not only the face of the party, but they're also the spokespersons for the party. The platform is the glue that keeps the party together. And I might also remind everyone that everybody in this room votes on the platform. If you don't like it, you can change it. And I appreciate that not everybody agrees with everything on the platform. I don't either. But I think to do any less is akin to tolerating something that I know wouldn't be tolerated in the commercial industry. For example, if I were the chairman of the Chevrolet division and they gave me a Chevrolet Silverado and I went out the next day and sold it, bought a Ford F-150 and asked why I did that, made it clear that I thought it was a better vehicle and I really wouldn't like to drive a Chevy Silverado, I wouldn't last a day. The board of directors would have me out of there post haste, and the dealers would be looking for my scalp in a hurry. Bottom line is, we owe it to the platform to do no less. The truth of the matter is, we've all voted on it. This is the voice of the party. These are the things on which we've agreed. I appreciate that not everybody agrees with every point, but we cannot allow our national committee woman, for example, to sign amicus briefs against the provision of the party platform. The appropriate, port, the appropriate action on her part when requested to do something like that is to say no. In any event, the long and short of it is, we're here to support the platform. That's why we get together. That's why I got up this morning to show up here. I hope that all Republicans will remember that, and I certainly hope this party will take steps to ensure that the platform is something that matters in this party. That's the reason a lot of people are here, is the glue that holds us together. That's all I've got. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Has anyone signed up to speak? Many um, have, sir. We have a... a quick question, maybe a motion. Yes. Uh, of course, I support the union and the platform. It's, it's there. It's against it. I probably have to resign. But so, in the interest of me not having to resign, I'd like to make a motion to table two to six. Second. Motion to table is non-debatable. Is there a second? Second. Is there a second? Um, all in favor of... Order. Yes? Aren't we supposed to be dealing with each of the final amendments individually? It's normally on the way that honorable gentlemen want to hear you guys that be out of order. I don't think so. I don't think so because... Uh, you can group them. There's nothing in the rules that says you can't group them. Thank you. Thank you.
sent it forward to you as four separate proposals, four separate bylaw amendments, and then I summarized them all. I hadn't expected that you would put both four separate amendments in and the summary. I thought you might opt to do one or the other. Okay. Uh, they were submitted in as separate amendments, I understand what you're saying. Right, okay. But they were submitted as separate amendments, so they were dealt with by both the bylaws committee and the executive committee. Uh, do you object then to combining them all for the consideration of the of the meeting? Oh, I like this. Um, yeah, I do. I want to discuss all of them, quite frankly. I'm, and, no, I don't really want to discuss all of them. It seems, I think it's clear enough from the first and the second, uh, from the from the second and the fourth, that they basically say the same thing. As does the removal procedure. But they should be discussed, and people should be able to come up and say, that's a bad idea because. I think it's going to be hard to do because the removal portion essentially is already in the bylaws. The bottom line is that the platform is important. People in this room don't think it is. That's a problem. Question? Understood. Question? We have a motion to table, unless this is a point of order. Point of order? No. I think so. I, I, I don't understand. Um, okay. I don't understand that what uh, Representative Elizondo said applies, and that's what I need to know. How is it a rep who is supporting uh, uh, gambling uh, would then be thrown off the e board? No, that, that's not a point. No, that, that's not a point. Yes, it is a non-debatable motion. Um, it, has been, it has been seconded and we move to vote. Uh, Representative, would you agree to amend your motion to only apply to this um, this amendment first so that we don't run into the question of aggregating? We would have to do serial motions. They all are the, pretty much the same. They the same are. Sheet, so I would recommend, with us just, why waste people's time? Let's just go two to six. It's a simple motion. Uh, he will not agree to an amendment of his motion. There is a motion to table, uh, which is non debatable. Uh, we'll do this by voice vote to begin with. Uh, all in favor of the motion to table say aye. Aye. All opposed? No. Uh, I think the ayes clearly have it. Club TV.